A rocket attack on the Baghdad airport kills Iran's most revered military leader. Iran's parliament has passed a bill designating all U.S. forces terrorists. The world is on edge tonight after Iran made good on its promise, launching a revenge attack on the United States. Uh, the U.S. is sending at least 3,000 soldiers to the Middle East. World War III is beginning to trend on social media. And the U.S. killing of Iran's general Qassam Soleimani has brought tensions in the Middle East to a new level. At least eight people have died in devastating floods around the Indonesian capital Jakarta. A flash flood in Indonesia has left at least 16 people dead and 23 missing. Devastating fires in Australia, killing at least 18 people, forcing tens of thousands from their homes. Where thousands of firefighters and first responders are battling unprecedented wildfires. At least two dozen dead, more than 12 million acres destroyed. When I put this on here, you can see all the areas that they're dealing with wildfires all along most of the coastline, some inland as well. Now, Australia's bushfires have burnt through 8 billion hectares of land since September. Remarkably, smoke can now be seen 12,000 kilometres away. In Argentina, Arabia has suffered from hailstorm and torrential rainfall at several parts of the country. A dangerous virus is spreading rapidly in China, and U.S. officials are very worried that it could come here. Three people have already died from this illness, which has spread to at least three other Asian countries. Fast-breaking developments in the coronavirus emergency in the U.S. and around the world. The number of cases soaring just today. A quarter of the world's population is now living under some form of lockdown due to coronavirus. More than 3 billion people in almost 70 countries and territories have been asked to stay at home. This morning, ICUs across the country say they're crippled by a crush of patients as pandemic-related hospitalizations hit an all-time high. Countries around the world are struggling to keep up. The Philippines were forced to evacuate this week after a volcano blanketed parts of the country with ash. This is how Ta'al Island looked before the volcanic eruption. And here's how it looks now. The once verdant Philippine jungle now so heavily laden with volcanic ash that it resembles the surface of the moon. Here, a once vibrant community church now looks like locusts in decades. Authorities in both countries fear a food security crisis. Just half a square mile of swarm has up to 80 million locusts packed in it. They are wreaking havoc from Africa to Asia to the Middle East. What could be worse than a plague of locusts? How about an invasion by so-called murder hornets? This is the murder hornet one of the deadliest insects on our planet. They kill massive amounts of honeybees. These things can even be deadly to humans. And now, for the first time, they have made their way to America. Cyclone Umfan, the first super cyclonic storm in the Bay of Bengal for 20 years, has made landfall in Bangladesh and India in the last few hours. It's being categorized as an extremely severe weather system with winds gusting up to 185 kilometers per hour. That's the equivalent of a category five hurricane. The cyclone system is around 500 kilometers in diameter. Beirut has been hit by a massive explosion. Much of Beirut is shattered this morning by one of the most powerful peacetime explosions ever. This is the port as a fire rages, popping and sparking. The flames swell to a noisy roar until the second blast. Other angles show the blast wave crumbling buildings like sandcastles, traveling faster than the speed of sound and floating away. This morning, the residents of Midland, Michigan reeling from cataclysmic flooding after two dam failures. The Amazon rainforest is on fire again. Whole mountains, hills and valleys engulfed in smoke. Some of these fires are absolutely huge, stretching as far as the eye can see. The nation of Brazil is witnessing a unique play of fire and ice. As one part of the country reels under devastating forest fires, the other part is rejoicing some drizzles of snow. Now, heavy rain has caused widespread disruption in Brazil as flood water engulfed cars and communities. The city's mayor says some areas received half a month's rain. Gas pipeline exploded in Nigeria, killing many people. In an instant, 100,000 square meters of Lagos, schools, homes, 
businesses were destroyed. Phoenix officially hit 100 degrees for the first time this year. 116, that's a new record, huh? That's a record. And setting a record for the date, another day with record heat. We sure know how to smash records lately. July of 2020 going down as the hottest month ever for Phoenix. Our record high for the day. So it's the hottest summer that we've ever seen. Record high territory this afternoon. Another record setting day. Friday was one for the record books. There's a new record high for today as well. Breaking records on a daily basis. Another record setting day. Another record setting afternoon. Another record setting day. Antarctica experienced its warmest day ever recorded in February with the mercury rising to 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Warming temperatures are helping the formation and spread of green snow. The phenomenon is becoming so widespread that it's even visible. Rainy season. For weeks, torrential downpours have triggered landslides and flash flooding. The dead toll stands at 250, with some 3 million affected. In Kenya, more than 100 people are reported to have died and at least a quarter of a million have been displaced by flooding. Making landfall this evening, Hurricane Delta winds up to 100 miles per hour. This is the 10th named storm to hit the U.S. this season alone. That's an all-time record. A major river in northeastern China has been struck by even more flooding. Heavy rains upstream have caused a dam to collapse, and the overflow has...